Now the maritime mystery of the Arctic Sea cargo ship continues. A Russian maritime expert claims he was forced to flee the country after voicing his version of why the vessel went missing for three weeks. Natalia Novikova investigates. Mikhail says he received a worrying call. The voice on the other end warned he'd get into serious trouble if he didn't leave the country. Within hours, he was bound for Turkey, and he's got no plans to return to Russia until next year. They said, we don't want any more scandals around the Arctic Sea. I'm convinced there was some private interest of major importance. When the ship went missing, everybody, I mean NATO and others, closed their eyes and Russia got sucked into this. The Russian Navy had no choice but to find it. Mikhail has suggested there could have been drugs or weapons on Arctic Sea. A preliminary inspection by the Russian Navy hasn't turned up any contraband. The official information is that the Arctic Sea was delivering timber to Algeria. Uh, it was last seen in the English Channel and for the next uh, over two weeks nobody knew where it was. It was recently found by Russian ships near Cape Verde Islands and no one knows what it was uh, doing there. Mikhail is a well-respected expert on shipping and piracy. His employers are mystified. Mikhail went on a work trip to Turkey and we had no suspicions about it. We didn't know he was threatened. However, he recently called the director of Maritime Bulletin and resigned from his position as editor-in-chief. He didn't explain why. Mikhail says despite the threats, he'll continue working, as all he needs is his laptop and the Internet. Meanwhile, the plot deepens in what is becoming a thriller worthy of Alistair McLean or Ian Fleming. With the ship itself on the high seas, speculation on what was or wasn't on board is bound to continue. However, it might turn out that the Arctic Sea lives up to the phrase, empty ships make the most noise. Natalia Novikova, RT, Moscow. And the soft fact, Maritime Bulletin has published an announcement saying Mikhail Wojtenko called from Turkey to resign from his post as editor-in-chief because of this latest controversy. Wojtenko is reported to have said he's tired of lying to